some people feel, feel very strongly that reading with a pip deck is actually better because it allows your intuition to kick in. <laughs> from Hummingbird Tarot and today I'm doing a review of the Manja Tarot. Takarai is the author's name on this. It's Manja University. I just wanted to go through a review of this deck, another Christmas present this year, and my daughter is a fan of anime and we want to just touch on this a little bit. So what she shared with me is this is kind of a, a cutesy version, a rated G version of anime. There is a book in here. It's it's some of the cards are based on, you know, you could see Rider Waite Smith similarities in the Major Arcana, but this is a pip deck. And it does talk a little bit about you know what the cards are and the meanings, but they're very it's a very basic description of things. If you're new to tarot, this isn't a very good book, but it does seem like the way that it's written that it's geared toward beginners and people that have never really looked that closely don't know tarot too well but what I want to do is just give you my overall impressions of the deck and then do a flip through of the deck here so welcome today if you're already a subscriber thank you so much I appreciate it if you're not join the family go ahead and click on that subscribe button in your lower right hand corner have you done it yet okay so Manja University Manja Tarot. So let's take a look at this. So the first thing that I have to say that I'm not a huge fan of, just how big the deck is. And I like to compare, when you're talking about size of things, I like to compare it to other things that may be in our universe already as someone who looks at tarot or oracle cards. So I'm going to compare this size wise to a couple other decks that I have. So the other two decks for size I'm going to take a look at is Energy Oracle Cards, and these are the size of a typical Oracle deck. Let's just get the size of this out so you can see. And if we look at this, it's actually bigger, taller than a standard Oracle deck. It's not quite as wide. And then if we compare it against a typical tarot deck size, I've got the Crystal Visions tarot here, and we look at one of these cards for size, and this is a standard tarot deck size. You'll see it's a lot bigger. So size-wise, you're looking a little bit bigger, I would say, lengthwise than your Oracle deck would be which could make this deck a little hard to handle. I have smaller hands, so I, I don't like it when the decks are really big and hard to shuffle. I'm gonna look at cardstock as far as how thick the cardstock is. So this is your typical US Games cardstock, and I'm looking at it from the side here, and the Manja Tarot is much thicker cardstock, which could also, and it's a high gloss finish, both of those things can make it hard to shuffle too. And then you've got thicker cardstock and it's much thicker, um, and the card is much bigger. So it's definitely gonna be harder to shuffle. And you can see from the side there how much bigger the size is of the Manja Tarot deck. Now, when you're looking at the back of the deck, I really am not a huge fan when they put the copyright on the back side here and they've got the name, I mean, this they could have done a much better job with the back of this. And it's not reversible for those of you who are looking for reversible cards. So there's that. And I do have to say there were some definite quality issues that I had that made my OCD start twitching. What I'm going to do, since this isn't, you know, the whole deck isn't based on Rider Waite Smith, I'm just gonna do a walkthrough of like a flip through of this deck and tell you what I think of the images. Now, now the images are cute and it's, it's definitely G-rated, so you could give this to a child and 
Um, if they wanted to, and, and uh, this is totally appropriate for an adult as well, if they're a fan of anime, but it, it's, like I said earlier, it's a cutesy version of anime, but, um, you know, the, the deck does go into some very basic meanings in here. It, it does have a note that if you're looking to use reverse meanings that you should look that up yourself and look at another source for that because they didn't include it in here. So we're just going to flip through here. And so what I've seen, and you can look for that as I'm flipping through here, is that sometimes the image is not centered on the card and it's kind of off center. And that's the part where the, uh, that made my OCD start twitching here. But I'm just going to flip through these pretty fast. So there's a perfect example of what I'm talking about, how they, they just, when they were cutting it or printing it, it just, that's not a great job quality wise. There's another card. So if you're familiar with Rider Waite Smith, you'll see similarities in the Major Arcana here. And then if you're not familiar with what a pip deck is, or if you have an opinion on pip decks, if you are familiar with them, let me know down in the comments what you think about using pip decks. Do you like them? Do you not like them? Very familiar imaging so far. Okay, so you've got the Ace of Cups, and then as you go through this, you'll see this is what a, a pip deck is, when it's just got, you know, there's the Two of Cups, there's the Three of Cups, whereas in a typical Rider Waite Smith based tarot deck, you would have situations for each of these cards, where there would be people in the card in a certain situation, and that would help you define what the meaning was of that card. This, you really have to memorize them, or you have to sit there with the book and look it up every time if you're not familiar with what's it like, you know, let's say the Eight of Cups, what that would normally mean. Now, some people, here's the Page of, of Cups, so the Knight, the Queen, and the King. So the court cards do have the names at the bottom, and people in a little bit of a situation doing various things. So you could maybe get some meaning from that. Some people feel, feel very strongly that reading with a pip deck is actually better because it allows your intuition to kick in. And sometimes if you have a situation on the card, it can interfere with your intuition because it's distracting. And so you, you start to fit the meaning into what the images are on there rather than letting your intuition tell you what the meaning is. And so you can see batons or wands. At least batons are very similar to wands. Sometimes they change up the suits and it makes it really hard. You have to spend some time with the deck. You can't just sit down and start reading with it if you're, you're using what you've memorized in the traditional Rider Waite Smith deck. It's the Ace of Swords. These look like samurai swords. There's the ace of coins. And so it's coins instead of pentacles, but that's still very similar. So even though they did change up some of the suits, they're still very similar to the original suits that you would find in tarot. Okay, so overall, I don't, I'm not a fan of the cardstock and the size of the cards. I do like the images and, you know, I've got, I, I can understand both perspectives of why people like pips and why they don't. If you're brand new to tarot, sometimes the pip cards are hard and you feel like you have to look it up every time. 
and you're not very confident in your own intuition so that can also get interfere with you being able to read wide, right away so this isn't a deck that's going to be for everyone but if you have someone who's you know wanting to jump right in and they don't mind using the book and they enjoy anime that this might be a deck for them so i hope you enjoyed this thanks for stopping by and i'll see you on the next time around